right everyone right now i am walking yakari and i found a jackpot guys good it's cute eh? look at that look at all those oh my gosh all those ficuses all those sensivarius this one i think this one also is kind of possibly a house plant sensivaria trifasciata oh my lord what the heck this is like a cemetery of house plants look at those you can easily propagate every single of this Sensiveria cutting and probably on ficus as well. What in the world? Look at that babe! Oh my gosh! I'm not sure where I would put all of that, honestly. Oh, and a lot of flies are flying around. But that is insane if you ask me. Holy nuts! Right, Yakari? What do you think? Babe! Are you busy? Okay, very busy. Oh my gosh, it still has a name label. I think this might came from the school in the back. That's for sure. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Okay, I really thought about taking this ficuses, but I am kind of afraid because this is a school, you know, territory and there are cameras. So I do not want to get in trouble. So I won't. But Oh my gosh, look at all of these. My heart is in pain. <laughs> Your car helps. Look how cute he is with his little branch. everyone welcome back to my channel today we will have a pretty chill and laid-back video just imagine you came to my home you know for a cup of coffee or a tea so grab one and today we'll chat a little bit about plants and we'll do some plant chores specifically i have some houseplant propagations that i want to finally to plant up i have philodendron melanochrysum i have philodendron brantiatum and I also have a broken pot of my overgrown Sansevieria, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to report in today's video because it's a very busy day for me today. And even though it's my lunch break, I still I don't have a lot of time. So I, I still want to film it. I still want to hang out with you guys. So let's probably start from the smaller plants and we'll see if I'll have enough time to do more of the business, you know. So just like I mentioned, I have a couple plants in my mind right now for... Uh, for this reporting and honestly I'm shamed to announce <laughs> or just to say out loud that I have this philodendron brantiatum still in sphagnumos and it was and is and still in this sphagnumos for about a year right now and it's been growing and growing and I've been cutting and cutting the top pieces out of this plant and it just keeps on growing and finally I have some babies in my uh, propagation box is the books so i have some propagation that finally have roots and new leaves and i want to plant them all together into the pot and i also have my philodendron melanocrysum propagating in a ziploc bag and i think here are about five cuttings that are already rooted so i want to take them out and plant together with a mama plant that looks really sad in this moment but it has a new growth point so that makes me really happy so i want to plant them all together into the same pot and we'll see how that will go you know so probably let's start from brandiatum because this one is long overdue and then we will go into melanocrysum all right so how everybody are doing uh, honestly i'm not even sure if i will able to include any kind of intro in today's video i mean you already saw the beginning of this video so you know if i had something or not one second what's up baby you want to check it out 
right now actually since the dark season is coming to Lithuania I mean it's already here so whenever I go to walk puppies either in the morning or afternoon during my working days it's always dark so I cannot film anything because it's just dark as night you know so that is a bit frustrating for me because you know I'm so used to have some footages for you from our walks I know how much you enjoy just hanging out with us while you know we're walking and looking for adventures outside so right now is that season again when I can only film intros during uh, weekends so it's limited you know guys <laughs> it's really limited right now okay, I think this should be enough so as per usual I'm mixing a pretty simple mix it's cactus soil mixed together with some perlite and orchid mix so it's pretty airy and I'll have both of these plants in uh, see through pots so I'll be able to see if they're thirsty or not and you know water them appropriately so perfect gorgeous beautiful look gorgeous okay <laughs> okay so I want to start probably from from mama plant let's take the mama plant out and then we will see the babies so this is still in the same same <laughs> dish from I think this are vegan sausages so this is a dish from Urosh <laughs> it's still in here this is so shameful to you know say out loud because it's been a year since these plants were propagating in the sphagnum moss and I probably should have watered the sphagnum moss of course of course, as always, not prepared, always messy. Oh my gosh, why am I like this? And I still want to film them videos, oh my gosh. I can hear stuff ripping and I'm not sure if this is a sphagnum moss or is it a root. Oh my gosh. You know what? I have... How do you call that? Spray bottle. Yes, we have spray bottle, so a second. Oh, by the way. Christmas sucks. Today I'm so Christmassy, it's even insane. I know that. Got it. Woo. Okay, well, that's aesthetic, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I have spray bottle. Let's just give a little bit of moisture so I'll rip a little bit less of a root. This is actually such an easy growing philodendron. It was actually infested by trips twice <laughs> during that year so that's why I did not report it because when I finally treated it for the first time from trips I was still not sure if the trips are all gone so I just wanted to keep it in same sphagnum moss before reporting it and then I think a couple months passed <laughs> and it was infested with trips once again so I had to wait and treat it again and finally I think we are clear you know <laughs> do we have this uh, okay this is so random but here in Lithuania and also in Russia we have this how is it called you know that thing that people believe in but there are no uh, written proof for that Ugh. you know a mystery <laughs> you know that oh my gosh I know that there is a specific word for that but it just doesn't come to my mind right now but we have this belief that whenever you say something and you are afraid to jinx it, you have to spit three times through your left uh, shoulder, like, like this. <laughs> Not, you know, for real spitting, but just like making the sound, like faking it. <laughs> do you have something similar to that when you're afraid to jinx something? You have to do something about it? Or is it only us being a little bit weirdos? Or, for example, we have this also when the black cat walks past uh, the road that you are about to walk through. So when you are close to that spot where the cat just walked by, you have to spit three times as well. <laughs> I don't know about that. My aunt is actually really, really into things like that. So probably that's why my family is as well. <laughs> okay, well, that will take me a while. I actually did not thought it would be that difficult, but at the same time, what I was expecting since this plant was in the sphagnum this is painful since this plant was in sphagnum moss for a year this is insane what I was thinking oh my lord I hope Urash isn't watching 
And if you do rush high, <laughs> I hope you're doing great. As you can tell, I still have your philodendron and I love it so much. I have grown babies from it. I took babies and cuttings for plant swaps. So I really love this one. Oh my gosh, is it a root or is it? Oh my gosh, that is painful. Actually, I'm so surprised that I'm in such a good mood when I turn on the camera. I have no idea how that works, but it feels whenever I click the button to film, it feels like really I am starting to talk with a friend because I know that later on when I will upload a video, you guys will, you know, comment something and will chat about stuff that I was saying. So it always feels like a Skype call or something like that, you know, even though without urgent answering <laughs> so i was actually pretty sad for the last couple days because um okay long story short uh, for those who are longer on my channel you know i lost my puppy rocky this summer he sud very suddenly passed away and when we actually got him it was uh, five years ago on november so at the very same time, very same month, five years ago, my classmate also got a German Shepherd and I thought, and I remember we were actually chatting about it via Facebook and, you know, sharing our experiences and stuff like that. And, you know, her German Shepherd is still alive and happy, thank God, you know, everything is fine with her and my Rocky is not. And uh, this week she actually uploaded a picture to the Facebook of her German Shepherd sitting next to the five-year uh, candle on the cake and, you know, just left a photo together with some, you know, beautiful message that, oh my gosh, she's so proud of her German Shepherd, she's already five. And you know that, I cannot explain, but that hard, hard feeling really went through my bones and through all of my feelings because I know that we, you know, we both got the puppies at the same time and right now they actually would have the same birthday and my rock is no longer here and he would be five last month. So it really went straight into my feelings. Oh my gosh, it feels like a huge boulder is right now inside of me as I'm talking about it, so probably I should stop, but yeah. I'm glad that you're here and watching this video because we can chat about plants and do not think about sad things, right? So good thing is that there are no trips. Thank, thank you Jesus, you know? I mean, is it appropriate to say I'm not sure, I'm so sorry if it's not, but I'm actually so happy. Are you comfy over here? So Balu is actually loving to sit really close me to, closely to me whenever I'm sitting in the kitchen. He will always be by my side. He's the cutest puppy ever. I love him so, so much. And Yakari is actually napping over here as well. So I'm not alone right now, which feels great. Okay, well, there is a lot of sphagnum moss. Oh my gosh, half of this video will be just me ripping this plant apart. Oh my Lord. Oh my lord. It's so difficult to understand. Is it sphagnum or is it a root? <sighs> Why the roots have to be so similar to sphagnum moss? Actually, right now, after many of struggle like this one, I love to propagate in pearlite so much more. That's why I have this full dish with pearlite. Baby, why? what do you want to do over here? Do you have any kind of plants? Thank you, you are so adorable, you can't. Yeah, this is, you see, there is serious work going on, you know? Mama need to take care not only of you and your brother, but also of a bunch of plants. You know? You curious? Oh, you would love to chunk on that, right? You love eating my plants. Just looking for new victims, aren't you? Baby, stop pushing. Oh my gosh, you're so small, but need so much space. It's not fair not in the mood to go really through those roots and i know the longer i'm trying to pick out all of that sphagnum moss the more i am ripping the real roots so the best thing is that this won't really affect my plants since i got rid of the most of the sphagnum moss that's what we are left with two beautiful cuttings 
straight from Urosh. Oh my gosh, one of my subscribers. Love it. And the best part is that it did not lost any of the, you know, that original leaf that you sent me with. So that makes me so happy because I feel like I'm doing something right, <laughs> you know? Yeah, lots of cleaning on the way. All right, brain the atom, right? Let's get through this box. So I have a bunch of different cuttings in this propagation state. Propagation station. I have Hoyas, I have variegated Epipranum penatum, Fuzzy Petiole, Philodendron Tortum, Philodendron Mica. Actually, most of them are Philodendrons. One mystery Philodendron thing, that's about it. But we are here only for the Prantiatum. So let's see the roots of these babies. Okay. Cutting number one with new shoot coming out, out here. Cutie. So why did I des decided to propagate them? Because they actually started to grow such a small leaves for me, as you can tell. So I wanted to do something about it. And I'm doing something about it right now. I'll actually give them a little tiny stick to go on to. Oh my gosh, this was probably a top cutting. Look at this dorky, corky thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cute, 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 cute. All of them have pretty decent roots, so they should be fine. Okay, yeah. Oh, I also remember it. I propagated them because trips, <laughs> trips and all of the damage. Okay, I think that's about it. This one still has way too small root and top. So even if it is, I will leave it in here. I have a couple more, so let's leave it be. Oh my gosh, look at this cute fuzzy petiole, new leaf. Little pure light. Let's ignore that one. Boom. Look at it. Sick it. Okay. So let's put you back. We don't need anything else from here. So let's close that. All right. And I have this cute dish from my orchid. Look at it. I love that it's very interesting shape. Right. And I have this. <laughs> I know it's not much, but it's better than nothing, you know? So. We'll go with that. I actually was looking for any kind of poles in my home, but it looks like I ran out of them. So we are going with a simple stick from I'm not even sure what, <laughs> but that should work. Okay, you know what? I'm already on 18 minutes and I only right now I'm starting to plant something. Yeah, I think that's in Siberia will need to wait. So we have these two cuties. Okay, somehow. Well, that's really not for long, that stick. Oh my gosh, that's for sure. Okay, let's add a little bit more soil. So are you doing any kind of reportings at this season? Because I know a lot of people love to wait till summer. Since I, I mean spring, uh, since I have my grow lights, my mother grow lights, Spectrum 32, that are actually amazing. I'm so in love with them. They're doing such a big difference. A lot of my plants are growing right now and blooming right now. Most of my orchids are in bloom. I think even maybe all. I need to check again because I think one actually uh, threw away her blooms after I left a winter window overnight open because it was pretty warm. Let's somehow put these things together. I think I might add a little sphagnum layer on top so the moisture will hold here a little bit better since it's a pretty small pot. I do not want the cuttings to dry out on me. So I think that should be a great idea. Okay. I actually love this shape of pot. So cute. Okay. So let's see how we can put you over here. Yeah. Learn it. I don't know about you, but reporting is my favorite plant chore. I could do it every single day. I actually, maybe three years ago, maybe, maybe a little bit more when I was just starting, you know, to have my YouTube channel and being into plants. My biggest dream was to work in a house plant store and report them and chat with clients about plants 24 seven, you know, oh my gosh. It still is my dream to open my own houseplant store for the beginning, probably online store. So I'm curious if people would order from my store. 
but I'm a little bit worried about, you know, shipping overseas since I know a lot of my subscribers who probably, probably, hopefully, would like to order plants from me, would want them to States or Canada. So, not sure. I think we're doing great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love reporting. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I will add a sphagnum layer a little bit later. At first, I will want to water this plant. I have this cute ribbon, right? I want to help these plants to stay together. So cute. And I'll put it on this cabinet out here because I have my lights out here. It will look gorgeous. Oh, look at it. Ooh, is it okay? If I will leave it like this, won't it ruin my video? I mean, if it does, it's too late to fix anything. <laughs> Boom! Philodendron Brantiatum is all ready to go under the grow light and enjoy his life in a new home. So exciting! Right now, let's go to my Melanocrysum. I think I'll plant it directly into the same pot. But before doing so, let's see what we have going on in the cutting business. All right. Open up. Ooh, a breath of fresh air for you guys. You're welcome. Ooh, I love how fuzzy the roots on this one is. Are, ooh, do you see? They're actually pretty small, but it should be fine. Once again, I will cover the top layer of soil with sphagnum moss, so they won't have, you know, that drastic change. And plus, I have my humidifier in this room. Not crazy humidifier, it's a simple diffuser. You probably cannot see it. But yeah, it actually works for me. Look at all those roots. So fuzzy and cute. Oh my gosh. Actually, I was not expecting that melanocrysums are so easy to grow. They are so much fun and they have the most beautiful leaves ever. Have you ever seen one in person on the sunlight? Oh my gosh, when the sun hits the leaves, they start shining like diamonds. These are so, so cute. I love them. Okay, that is spooky. Oh, the spookiest part to take that sphagnum. Okay. This one has pretty small root as well, but you know what? We will go with it. We'll ring it and see how that goes because they have been propagating in here for... Oh, well, oh, wait. Okay, you got me, Sykes. <laughs> All right, this one have bigger root and it's actually half a new top coming up. I'm not sure if my phone is picking this up because it's so dark outside. You have no idea, guys, how difficult it is to film. Okay, this one is looking great. No top yet, pretty small root, but you know what? Once again, I want to plant them right now. I've been waiting for this for way too long and I want to have this whole shelf really aesthetic and beautiful and without bags. Okay, let's plant this thing all together. So I want to take the mama plant out of the pot. Still have labels from you guys. This one is actually also a plant from my subscriber. Have labels, love them, love them, love them. Actually, it's so fun that most of my la labels are so different because there is not a single label that I did myself. Most of, I mean, all of them are from you guys. So every single one has, you know, oh, okay, here. Every single one of them have a very special touch, you know, very different, so very cute. Pieces of you guys are in my home, you know? This sounds odd, but anywho. Okay, this one still looks great. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's take out. This is actually a pretty fresh soil. I reported this philodendron about a couple months ago, maybe a little bit more after treating it from trips. So I think I'll use it again. Ooh, look at all those roots. Such a happy baby. So happy. Love it. Love it. Let's mix it up with a little bit of fresh soil. Oh, actually, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Last reminder for you guys that I am accepting pictures for my Pots in the Wild giveaway. And you have three days left. So I think I received under 10 pictures. 
So for those who already sent me some picks, there is a high, high chance that you will win. So if you still want to participate and you have ordered pots for me, this is your chance. This is your last sign to do so and send me pictures via Gmail. So if you have no idea once again what I'm talking about, I actually started a giveaway, autumnal giveaway. So I am painting and, you know, working on custom painted pots for most of my subscribers and I have worked on at least 60 or 70 different custom pots and we thought with my uh, boyfriend slash fiance with Agnes that it would be so much fun to see what kind of plants people decided to plant into them and just to see you know how they are looking in the wild in the world so if you want to participate in giveaway and win cool cool gifts you can do so i'll actually leave a link to the video with full details over here so you can go ahead and check it out if you would be interested but that would be so much fun so send me some pictures and we will have a lot of and we will have so much fun going through them and chatting about them with people real people real time and you will be and you will be rewarded for that so last last reminder this friday last day because this sunday i will be filming a video and we will start voting so so last reminder guys it's now or never you know now or never okay this looks cool look how many plants there are this is gonna be epic epic schmepic okay let's finish it up Did you hear that I burped via microphone? <laughs> that would be awkward. <laughs> I mean, I already said it out loud. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, this is awkward. That is so awkward. As most of my life. Yeah, this one will definitely have a top layer of sphagnum moss because some of these cuttings have roots on the top layer. So I do not want them to dry out. And die off you know i still want this plant to keep those roots and last scoop booyah okay so once again i will water this philodendron and then add a layer of moist sphagnum moss on top so all of these small tiny roots like this one will stay alive i'm not sure if you can see but there is small tiny roots so in here i actually did not count it one two three four five six plants oh my gosh so right now i have six philodendrons melanocrysums are you flipping kidding me i'm a rich itch <laughs> oh my gosh so here we are here is the last plant i reported actually so so happy with the result cannot wait for it to go crazy on the pole and grow bigger and much more chunkier leaves this will look so so beautiful oh i almost forgot the label boom now we're almost done now i need to water it and add spagmos and that's about it so oh my gosh and only right now as i'm finishing this video of the sun came out <laughs> great <laughs> anywho thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this kind of random video but i had a lot of fun just chatting with no one but hopefully you'll answer some of these questions on my comments <laughs> and before leaving you of course let me teach you another language lesson okay so since i am in pajamas right now i'm not sure how to pronounce it in english to be honest but let me teach you how to say pajamas 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 in russian and in lithuanian they actually sound pretty much the same but a little bit different so i thought maybe that will be a little bit fun for you to hear the differences in different languages you know so if you wanna say pajamas in lithuanian you need to say pyjama once again pyjama and if you want to say pajamas in russian you need to say pyjama once again pyjama that's about it yeah pretty easy right so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this as always, pretty messy report with me, but at the same time, pretty chill one, right? Thank you so much for watching. I think I already said that. Oh my gosh. Subscribe to my channel if you love plenty content, awkward content. As you can tell, plenty of that in here. <laughs> like this video, comment, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one.